Oh yeah, look at that. It is just raining cardboard. Oh wow, look, the door got opened up. Oh man, this is insane. Oh wow, oh wow, there we go, we just... Hey everybody, it's Moonbo here and back with more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Now, if you guys are anything like me, you have been loving the Spud Gun update with all of its cardboard destruction goodness. So, I decided today we would be focusing on a little bit of that. So, I have a few creations here. Now, I am going to mention I did want to do some other things. I had some big projects on the go and unfortunately, I couldn't complete them because uh, for some reason, Scrap Mechanic is not working on custom worlds anymore. So, here we are checking out some cardboard destruction. Now, I'm gonna go over each individual creation, then of course we are gonna go in each one in more detail. So, the first one we're gonna be checking out, I call it the Deleter, or maybe even the Cardboard Eater. This thing is so much fun to use. As you can see, we got a cardboard log here, and we're gonna use this thing to destroy the whole thing. And actually, I think I have some ideas to improve it, so why don't we actually make some improvements on this in this video as well. Then we've got this weird one over here, I call it the Disc of Doom. Guys, this thing is absolutely crazy. You might have seen it in the Cardboard Battleship video, I used it as like a naval mine, but this thing is really cool on its own as well. So we're gonna try and play around with this a little bit and show you guys a little bit more detail here. Now this one over here, I like to call it the Spud Rain Tunnel. So as you can see, we have a destructible cardboard car right here. We're gonna drive it underneath this uh, spud storm, we could call it, and we're gonna check out some crazy destruction here. And the last thing we're gonna be checking out, which is honestly the most exciting thing we are gonna see in this video, it is Brent Batch's laser beam mod. That is right, guys, this thing is absolutely insane. Look at this thing, just shoot a million spuds a second, it's so crazy. But we're gonna be actually using this in the destructible city that I built. So we're actually gonna see the city get torn apart by this thing. It's gonna be so exciting, guys. Now, I wanna mention though, at the end of the video, once we've seen it all, I want you guys to comment down below which one was your favorite creation. They are honestly all cool in their own regard. But now, let's get into it. So to kick off this video, I figured we would start with the Deleter Cardboard Eater. This thing is pretty cool and it's pretty simple at the same time. So you see we have a few rows of spud guns mounted on the end of like a wheel arm right here. So there's four of them. They're all pointing inward right to the center here and we have a cardboard log. And of course this whole thing does drive forward. We have a driver's seat right back there. So hopping into the sea here, you can see we have one switch guys. That's right, it's on or off and you've got your spud destruction. Now, if you look at this, guys, you can see that the whole thing spins in a circle, so you get maximum destruction. So let's actually drive this thing right up to the cardboard log. There we go. In three, two, one, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. It is just raining cardboard. Now you do have to manually drive it to continue, but look at this, guys. Oh wow, it's so satisfying. You can just see the cardboard disappearing in like a spiral pattern. Just look at that. Cutting away right through it. Whoa, oh, getting some crazy camera angle. Actually, this is what it's like to be inside of the, uh, the cardboard eater right here. Look at this. It's actually kind of scary. Oh man, uh-oh. I think, oh look at this. All right, so a piece of falling cardboard has totally jammed the mechanism. That is actually hilarious. Uh, but you know what? I have a really good idea to make this thing even more awesome. So one thing I did do is I removed this base plate right here, so hopefully the cardboard won't actually get stuck in there anymore. But I figured, you know what? Why don't we double the amount of spud guns on this bad boy? So what I'm gonna do here is I am actually going to make a little bit of a an extension here, as you can see, nice and easy. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add an arm just like this one, right here. And I'll add three more on the other arms in between them, and that way we will get the doubled spud gun amount for double the destruction. All right, here it is, guys. The new and improved Ultimate Deleter Cardboard Eater. Now, this thing has four extra columns of spud guns, and check this out, guys. I have the destructible mod loaded in, and there is a daisy chain of cars 
along with the cardboard log that we are going to be eating through. Now, before we do that, I am going to quickly mention that I did have to slow the fire rate down uh, because there are so many spud cannons shooting at each other that they actually cause some pretty big FPS drops and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if I actually crashed the game. So hopping into the seat here, I'm going to give you guys a quick little example of what this thing looks like. Here we go. Now look at that. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to mention though, for some reason, every now and then the electric motor, see, look, it just stops turning and then it'll start shooting again and it'll keep going and it'll keep going and then eventually it'll stop turning again and I'm not too sure what to do because I've even turned the electric motor up to max and it still does that for some reason but this is so cool it's so mesmerizing to look at but guys I think it's time we start eating some of these cars and the cardboard all right I hope I don't crash my game. Here we go. Okay, this is real slow. All right, we're gonna have to speed this up just a little bit here. There we go. Now we're going faster. All right, this is it, guys. We are about to start destroying stuff. And I just crashed my game. All right, so maybe the ultimate deleter, cardboard eater, was just a really bad idea. And it's just a pipe dream, guys, because this thing is clearly too much to handle for the game but i can't leave you guys hanging on the destruction so we've spawned in the original one that's a shame though i really wish the other one worked fine but here we go guys let's see if we can do this without the crashing the game this way oh yeah there we go look at that oh and i just crashed my game again all right well i'm finding all sorts of interesting ways to crash my game today uh but i still i can't i can't not destroy this i have to eat this cardboard it's what this creation is made to do. Look at it go. Oh man, just total disappearing act on this cardboard. Wow, okay, it's so satisfying. Getting up nice and close here. Look at all of the cardboard just disappearing. You can hardly see it though through all of that smoke. It's ridiculous. Oh man, so I mean, this is probably one of my favorite creations, honestly, in its simplicity and also in its total satisfaction when you're destroying something like this. I mean, it's just mesmerizing. But now that's enough for the deleter, guys. Let's move on over here real quick. We're gonna check out the spud gun rain. Now this is, uh, it's my spud wall. I just put it upside down, obviously, facing right down on the ground. So here we got the switch. We will turn it on and look at this, guys. We have raining down spud destruction. So we've got a cardboard car here. It's time to brave the storm here, guys. You know what, I wonder, should I do this in first person? Okay, you know what, this is gonna happen in first person in three, two, one. All right, we're entering the storm. Here we go, oh, jeez, the car is getting shredded to pieces. Oh man, I was really happy I made the decision to do this in first person, actually. Oh wow, look, the door got opened up. Oh man, this is insane. Okay, let's just kind of exit out this side right here. Whew, all right, what do we got here? All right, well, we're still pretty much a car. So I mean, I think that means we got uh, the ability to do another pass. Let's do this one in third person here. Oh man, look at that. I was thinking of putting this really high up in the sky and that way you could really get that rain effect and that's something I might still do. Uh, the, the, the concept of raining down spuds in a very random fashion is very appealing to me. All right, let's get in first person here. We're going to actually just hang out until this car gets destroyed now. This thing is actually surviving much better than I was expecting. Uh, I mean, sometimes it seems like I'm just not really hitting the right spots on the cardboard here. All right, there we go. I have lost an engine. Oh, okay, no, there we go. I am totally destroyed now. The engine... The wheel, everything on the front here has been destroyed. Look at that. All right, now that is what I call a spud storm. But this is just a simple little thing I wanted to show you guys. Now let's go check out the Wheel of Doom. So next up, we've got the Wheel of Doom or the Disc of Doom, whatever you want to call it. This thing is absolutely fantastic. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of spud guns in a very circular shape, and they all shoot out outwards, and it is so much fun, guys. So what we got, though, is this big plus sign right here on the top. And then underneath it, there is another plus sign, and it's pretty cool, actually. This is actually a post that runs right through the middle of the creation up to the top of the plus sign there. So they both spin at the exact same time. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick demo of this so you can have an idea of what this is. And of course, guys, these are going to be available on the Steam Workshop. If you do want to check them out, there's links in the description. All right, so in three, two, one, it's Disc of Doom time. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's just slicing 
a ring right out of that log. All right, we're gonna hop out of here. We're gonna launch ourselves off. Now, look at this. Okay, it's going right through now. Oh my goodness, I wanna get onto the other side. Oh, we're getting hit by spuds. There's so many spuds everywhere. Okay, there we go. This is a nice view. You can actually see it's slowly just carving out the shape, and it seems like the top ones aren't actually gonna hit right there in the front simply because the drop-off, but the drop-off does make it land right there. Oh man, they keep getting hit by spuds. Try and dodge these spuds. Okay, I cannot dodge them whatsoever, but look at this, guys. Total destruction in a disc form. Wow, okay, I'm gonna stop that before the game crashes again, but look at this. You can see very consistent on this level right here, and then the drop-off of the spuds. Uh, because of that, you couldn't actually hit right here, but eventually they did drop off and you were seeing a little bit more varied destruction away from the center of the Disk of Doom. Uh, pretty cool stuff. But now, guys, it's time we actually take Brent Batch's laser, and I'm going to attempt to bring it in to the city. I hope the game doesn't crash. If it does, then we'll find some cardboard to destroy somewhere else. All right, so here we are at the destructible city. Yet again, I do love this place, guys. It is so much fun to destroy. And of course, over here, we got the Brent Batch laser, and I've mounted it to my turret, so I've got the laser cannon turret. This thing is so cool. Now, I'm gonna start shooting at this place. I really hope the game doesn't crash because this is just too cool to miss. So, we're gonna hop right here into the seat. I'll quickly show you guys. You can actually aim the cannon up and down like this, and you can press two and uh, that'll open you up. Just a, a warning if you get this on the Steam Workshop. You wanna press two before you get out or else you will get stuck. And three and four is what will spin you around it like a beautiful turret, of course. And uh, I guess you just press and hold five, and you hope for the best here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just kind of aim this off to the side first before we actually start shooting, and uh, hope for the best here. So in three, two, one, there's the laser. Okay, laser is shooting, and we're gonna bring it into the city here. And ooh, it's looking pretty good. We are not crashing yet. Amazing. Look at this. Look at this destruction, though. Oh, my God. Look. You can literally just tear a strip right through that building. My goodness. Okay, that is really satisfying. So what I'm going to do, though, is actually I want to be able to aim. Okay, there you go, guys. I did not press 2. But I want to be able to aim this a little bit higher, and I can't do that with this top little thing here. I mean, this is just cosmetic stuff. So let's actually completely ditch that little thing right there. And there we go, guys. You can see now I have full control of the laser cannon. We are not gonna miss at all. And I'm gonna put on strict follow cam so that way I can just focus on the shooting and the destruction. So here we go again in three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh, yes. Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. That building back there doesn't stand a chance. You know, I really do wonder what the fire rate of one of these bad boys is. Okay, we're gonna actually start taking out the truck back there now. There we go. Oh man, I feel like Thanos right now, actually, because I am just laser canning everything. Oh. Alright, we're just gonna keep on taking out some of the lights there. Let's actually aim down at the, uh, the cop cars here. Oh wait, there's a car right in front of us. Look at this. This car right in front of us. What does it think it's doing right there? Look at this. Oh my goodness, that cannon is beaming right through the car. All right, we're gonna aim down a bit. Try and get even more destruction here. Oh, wow, oh, wow, there we go. We just cut that car in half. Okay, hold on. We are gonna inspect this damage here. Look at this. The car was sliced right through the middle, lengthwise. That doesn't even make sense. Look at this, the cannon is just cutting right through the ground. All right, you know what? I think the biggest thing to do is actually chop one of these buildings in half. I know it's usually the laggiest thing that we could probably do, but I think it's totally worth it here, guys. So, I'm gonna probably just uh, destroy a few more things here, maybe uh, like that bus stop there. Let's beam that bus stop to shreds. Oh, perfect. And I really, I wanna see that truck sliced up a little bit more. Wow. Can you guys see the phasing of the spud beam? That is so weird looking oh man all right and actually this building right here that's untouched let's destroy this get rid of that sign aim up into the sky oh wow so it's kind of interesting some spuds it seems like they don't actually make contact and break anything uh, and so it seems like this laser is not quite as effective as it once was but look at that so much destruction but now guys 
I think we're gonna chop that tall building in half, so let's turn our turret just like this. And there we go. I think I'm just gonna keep a constant speed right across the, uh, the top here. I don't wanna break too much off. All right, here we go. We are now cutting right through this building. Oh, wow. All right, I'm gonna speed it up here and wiggle back and forth. Oh my goodness, I know this is gonna lag the game so bad very, very fast. All right, there we go. I have just indeed crashed my game. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna have to end the video here. Um, unfortunately, I crashed the game. I can't even load into these saved games anymore, like this one and the other one, actually, for some reason. They are both t completely destroyed, so I really hope that the game gets a, a little optimized because right now uh, we're kind of limited into how much destruction we can truly enjoy. I mean, I'm still trying to push the limits and find the sweet spot, but that's really hard. So anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video or these builds. If you did, then let me know down in the comments. Maybe even hit that like button. It'll certainly help the channel out. And if you want to see more Endless Scrap Mechanic, guys, then consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank Thank you as always guys for tuning in to this endless scrap mechanic and i'll be seeing you the next one so bye for now